We're back, and I'm joined once more by TCM fan Amber Schaefer to talk about why she picked McClintock. So you talked before the movie about how watching movies with your father and your grandfather watching old westerns uh, yes. is a great experience that you remember as a kid. When did you sort of discover Turner Classic Movies? So I remember it very, very well. Um, I was, at the time, I had a brand new baby. He was about four months old, and my first husband was in the Army, and he was deployed to Iraq. And while he was gone, it was just so incredibly lonely. And my dad said, well, you know, you just, you don't remember all the times we just sat and enjoyed time with the kids watching movies. He's like, you need to, you need to look for Turner Classic Movies. And he was right. And it's like, it hadn't dawned on me in so long. And I remember tuning into the channel and it was a celebration of Katherine Hepburn. So I watched in one day, I watched Bring Up, Bringing Up Baby, the Philadelphia story, Alice Adams. And I think that the thing that I loved about it was that for me, mostly watching classic films had just been Westerns and John Wayne, but then here's this beautiful woman and all of these amazing roles. And I just realized that there was like a total glamor side to it. And the other thing, and this probably sounds silly, that I love so much about the channel is that it, for me, it's just, it's so calming. I love to have the channel just on in the background listening. And all of a sudden I got to see all of these movies I had never seen before. So it was just, it was like binge watching for days and I was just so hooked and, and it's on all night long. So if my baby was up crying, <laughs> you know, I could be up watching just this amazing film that I would have never otherwise seen. Uh, we didn't pay you. We didn't ask you to say any of that, but you essentially just cut a perfect promo for us. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you for doing that. I understand that you named your kid McClintock, it says here, too. Is that right? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I made that up. I just... No, but I <laughs> but actually... You see, but that tattoo. said, you did do something, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I do have a tattoo of the Turner Classic Movies logo. Wow. Um, it doesn't say Turner Classic Movies. It is the clip art of Rita Hayworth. Oh, nice. And I wanted to get something that resembled my love of classic movies, but you can't choose just one. You can't choose just one film, just one actress, just one actor. I mean, how could you pick? So it seemed like the perfect embodiment of classic films. I don't want to get too forward, but where is the tattoo? It's on my arm. Okay, good. And I think it actually was done very oh, well. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's fantastic. And the artist that did it um, is a, a pretty good artist. Um, he works in Las Vegas. Terrific. That's really great stuff. Uh, Amber, thank you very much. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you. I'm such a huge fan. I was just watching you in my living room last night, and it's amazing to actually get to speak with you. <laughs> oh, well, Amber, the pleasure is mine. It was great talking to you. Thanks for those stories. They, uh, they warmed my heart. I'm sure they did for other people, too. Thank you. That does it for the fans and me this afternoon. Up next, though, Betty Davis and Paul Henry star in one of the most romantic movies of all time. It is this week's edition of The Essentials with Robert Osborne and Sally Field, starting in just a few minutes.